Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to our weekly podcast. I'm here Hi. with once again Zach, Andrew, and Alex. What's Look, up? Andrew's already dead. Yeah. yeah. R.I.P. I'm noticing. Uh, let's see. We got two clean-shaven boys. Well, I'm kind of a little bit scruffy. And then we got the two beard boys. Yeah. Alex and Zach. Yep. Did yep. you copy Zach? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Zach. Well, no, I did not copy. Zach. Well, yes. I've been growing this. This. <laughs> I this. like your white mic. I know, right? I know, right? I know, right? It's a combination. But I Except have a V-neck. Gotta, yeah, that's pretty, uh, mm, I don't know. You don't like I, it? I used to like V-necks when I was uh, 12. Yeah. But no, I'm just kidding. Hey, <laughs> it looks up. good on you. <laughs> Thank you. So I've been growing this this piss poor beard for like almost two months. Piss poor? Dude, it's awful. Why, why are you so bad? yourself? Dude, because mm. it's not even thick. It's not full. Be proud. It's, it, and I think it stopped growing. Like, I think it's done. I don't think that's on possible. It. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't think that happens. Okay, well, how about you, Zach? How long have you been growing out your beard? Two days. Five weeks? Dude, and look at how much more he has than I do. He's got Swedish blood in him. Have you seen my yeah, beards? I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. But still, like, I feel like mine has, like, I don't know. It's, like, it's, it's definitely slowed down a lot. Mm-hmm. So I, I don't know if I'm going to keep it or shave it. But if I shave it... I know what I look like underneath, and I don't like it that much. <laughs> so, so like your your own natural face. I I don't, dude. I don't. I look super young, and it just feels like I love being clean shaven. The feeling of it, you know, you feel nice and smooth when you go to bed. There's no, mm-hmm. you know, rustling with the hair. But like when you shave it, the appearance of you just for me it dips a bit. I become more of a child, which I don't like. So I don't know. I, I might shave it, but... but he but, cares, but, Michael. But, but, uh, Why? Uh, we'll see. Yeah. I, I, Be I comfortable know, in your own skin. I am. This is my same skin. But the hair, that's a different thing. You're trying to cover your skin. That's what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, nah, I, I don't know. I just got lazy. Yeah. I figured yeah. nobody's going to see me for a while, so I was like, eh, mm-hmm. I'll just stop shaving. Well, um, it looks like... We might be in for the sheltering at least until the end of May, so that's uh, going to be another month, basically, of yeah. being separated, especially for you, Michael. Especially for me. How so? Because it's, it's declared in Fresno City. Oh. Yeah. I thought you were personally attacking me. Oh, no, 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 no. I would never do that. I would never you're, you're in a you. house of I paranoia, would, though. I would never attack you about that, ever. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I know what you're going through, being quarantined. Which everybody's going through, but like you especially, having mm-hmm. those rules strictly on your city limits. Oh yeah, that's nothing like what we have. I mean, like people here, like in public, I haven't seen a lot of masks. Mm-hmm. I don't know about you guys, but I've nope. seen not many. It depends on where I go. I went to if I go to the grocery store, I see a lot of masks. If I go yeah. inside like Little Caesars. Nobody's wearing masks. Mm. Nobody, which is stupid because there's like three feet in the whole building, and everyone's close together, so you can't do six feet apart. So yeah, I had to go inside. And mm. I had my mask on. And, so they're probably like, no well, if did. we're not getting six feet, then what's the problem? <laughs> <laughs> but I was exposed. They're like, why even fucking masks? try? Throw them away. Andrew, we can't have chaos right now. <laughs> Please. <laughs> so why united. Andrew can't go outside? Yeah. No, the chaos could exist outside, but where I'm at, nice and cozy. Hey, and Andrew, indoors. you mowed the lawn today. How'd that go? Good. No, uh, no problems. No, I use my N95 mask to cover myself from all the <laughs> pollen, you the already grass, had a the dirt, before. the actual just air outside, filled with all that combined. Mm-hmm. Can't have any of that. Hey, Alex, so how, uh, deadly cocktail. How are you doing? I feel like you've been more aggressive lately. How so? I don't know. <laughs> Just the like V-neck. When I see you, or when V-neck. I talk to you what? <laughs> through texts, uh-huh. I'm I'm worried about you, man. Like what? Like what have I said? I just said. I don't hey, know. weren't you it's yelling good. at them on Xbox or, yesterday? Um, no, I, don't I think thought I you was were yelling at anybody. Was I? Not no. yesterday. I just noticed. I've noticed a, a pattern of aggression ever since quarantine. I just want to check mm. in on you. Make sure you're doing okay. No, I'm I'm better than I've ever been in this quarantine. I think. I've laid really? I've, I've laid down the eating like snacking all the time. That's dipped a, a lot, I would say. <laughs> and because I only eat like two meals a day, so. But they're big meals. No, not really. I mean, like, so I would wake up and have a cup of coffee, right? 
mm-hmm. and then no breakfast. But I, I, that's be- just because I'm not very hungry. No, that's not a meal. Let's no, get no, no. That straight. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not okay. a meal. But my second meal, or my first meal, actually, is just a sandwich, <laughs> some fruit, uh, maybe some chips, and that's it. What kind and of then, fruit? Like, I have a banana, some blackberries, uh, blueberries, raspberries. A bunch of all the berries. Like Jesus yeah. Christ. We have a ton, so I just, I've been eating those. And then dinner, whatever we're having. Okay. And so, then, yeah. like, in the fridge, there's a, there's a box that says, for Andrew, and you're like, oh, that's for me. I'll eat no. that. No, 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 no. I don't eat his food. Mm. Have you had any of his Smirnoffs? Uh, no. Have not. Okay, good. I think yeah. that might make Andrew snap and kill you. <laughs> yeah. I think so, dude. <laughs> oh. That would be the last straw for Andrew. Well, Alex has claimed a challenge. He says he can drink a whole 12-pack of Smirnoff in one night, in one go. Yeah. I think you can. I think I could too. Like, th- yeah. I don't see like how Smirnoff Ice could be that challenging to to me. Like, I know what you've said. You said like it just leaves sugar. like a, a sugar and that film on your tongue, right? Mm-hmm. But I think honestly, if I'm you know wasted enough, no, I no, could no get you can't be it. wasted. You start off dry and you go. I, I understand that, but like three or four, maybe five in, I'd be buzzing a bit and it'd be like water. So it's like, I don't care. Give me more. Yeah. Dude, that'd be easy. I could eat 15 Jolly Ranchers, too. Yeah. It'd be totally well, fine. No, but this is alcohol. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> it's sugary-ass alcohol. I, what do you mean? But, but the, there it's is like still... It's like proof There's still alcohol in it, so it's still going to affect you in that way. Yeah, but you drink so, so much. You have such a high tolerance. It's not yeah, going to affect you. I think it will. Because I think the, the Smirnoff has a more higher alcohol content than like a bud light or like a a light beer i think it does Mm -hmm. so i think the smirnoff might affect me faster but that's still not gonna stop me i'm still gonna continue to do (laughs) it like like like, no 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 but hearing a criminal hearing andrews stop me hearing this guy's excuse of why that happens makes me cringe dude it's like i'm sorry like he'll be like oh i'm like three in and takes a sip Mm mm-hmm (laughs) <laughs> Ew, it tastes bad on my tongue it's like that's such bullshit that is such bullshit and I, I don't i don't believe that i apologize uh, it's fine it's fine <laughs> but i think honestly i could crush a 12 pack of smirnoffs it's the same amount night. of alcohol it is okay five percent for both banquet right. bud light and smirnoff ice all right so that wouldn't be no problem whatsoever i'd be mm-hmm. completely fine with it mm. so then it's not really a challenge is it no. In a way, it could if be. If it's a it challenge, has... you need a 24-pack. <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. That, See, that's a challenge. And then you chase it with Fireball, like each time, each bottle. And then Gatorade. Yeah. yeah. No. no, you don't get normal drinks. Yeah, no, yeah, that, yeah. that is alcohol. the chaser. Yeah. Every I, time. I, I definitely could do that easily. I think but you'll then, die. But then you become No Fun Al. No Fun <laughs> Al. No Fun Al. No Fun Al. Explain. Yep. What do you mean explain? I don't know what There's that is. Lots of screaming, stripping, <laughs> like, yelling, <laughs> like stripping. A, screaming, like a stripping? You know that, that sounds Alex? fun. You're like a normal human being mm-hmm. at one point, and then like the the full moon is the equivalent of you like 12 deep into alcohol. Yeah. Yeah, and then yeah. you just change into no fun owl. <laughs> and it's like, it's a, we can be talk, having a side conversation, and you're like yelling at us like, hey, hey. I think, and then you start arguing with them for no reason. Mm-hmm. And then about we'll be like, Alex, you've about. already told us this like four times yeah. in the last hour. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if you guys have ever been drunk that bad, but that's what happens. No. Yes. You, dude, you have never been drunk. Like you say you have, but every time you claim I never it, say I have. I always say I think. I don't know. You think? I don't know. Dude, you know when well, you're drunk. Well, I'm about to pass out. I don't know. <laughs> and he's gotten to the point where he's had to hold on to the walls to walk. Yeah, no like way. Yeah, I can't walk. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, my drunk is blackout drunk, which I love. No, it's not. I love not so out. much. No, You're but, just no, constantly yelling. But but to me, I blackout. That's like, I don't remember shit. 
and then I wake up in my bed or on the ground somewhere soiled. Yeah. Isn't that and then fun? I'm like, <gasps> dude, it, it is, it Isn't is it amazing. Like, it is wake, amazing. Waking up, it is so much mayhem. And <laughs> no, 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 responsibility <laughs> for it. The, the, no the responsibility. The thing is about that, that Michael, he, why it is so wants. good is because you wake up and you don't remember shit. It's amazing. That doesn't mean it's not your fault. It's, I'm going to black out and everything's going to be okay because I'm not going to remember it. Everything yeah, was okay. Everything it. was okay. What are you talking about? No. Like, sure, maybe mm. I might have, like, stepped on some feelings, but, like, it's fine <laughs> <laughs> for you. Uh, for the one who who's drinking, I, 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 I understand where I'm coming from. When I am no fun Wait, out to you others. You understand where you're coming from? Of course you understand where you're coming from. <laughs> yeah, you. I, I mean, okay. <laughs> okay. Sorry. I phrased that wrong. Um, what I meant was what I'm coming from when I'm drunk and I don't know what I'm doing from what you guys have told me. I know where I'm coming from. I understand that. <laughs> but you got to understand this. When I'm doing that no fun out, I have no recollection of that. Recollection? I'm, I'm just being... I, I don't Is even know what's happening. Right now, Andrew, what's going on? No. Okay. I'm talking funny. I don't trust him. You don't trust me? Why not? I don't. Why? I don't know. You seem very <laughs> mischievous today. No, no. No, I'm it's fine. the beard. So, <laughs> no, it's not the beard. I had someone ask us. They want to know how we all met. No. No. Well, we Next. do what they ask. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it's my episode, Andrew. Oh, damn it. Wouldn't it have been so I, funny to say that? And we're like, no. Like, oh, okay. All right. Well, weather. No, no, I, I, think, I think that'd, that'd be fun. Yeah, go ahead. All right. So I met this boy, Zach, first in fourth grade. We weren't. I, I tell him I met him there, but he says we weren't friends. So no. I, in my eyes, I thought we were. <laughs> oh, so he was so the popular kid, I, and you were like, oh, hello. And he's like, I thought we were like acquaintances. Like, I knew Michael, but I don't think we like hung out at like recess or anything. We definitely did. We did? I think you just don't I, want to remember it. Honestly, I, seriously, I honestly, I don't remember it at all. <laughs> I remember specifically in that class, you helped me with some. We had to do like a year long thing about birds. Mm-hmm. We had to cover like the whole alphabet, right? In it birds? Was like a bird. Yeah, of different kinds of birds for no fucking reason. I don't know what I don't yeah, know what stupid. the reason was, and I had to ask Zach for help. But I assume you don't remember that. Nope, I I barely even well, remember the you. birds. All right, <laughs> <laughs> moving on. That's when I met Zach. Well, actually, hold on. We stopped being friends after Damn that you. because that's when I became thug, quote unquote. Right? No. And Zach mm-hmm. Zach wasn't allowed to hang out with me after no. that, and then I became friends with him again in sixth grade when I got my senses straight. And then friends ever since that. And then I met these other two in high school, I think. Um, I think I met Andrew first. And Alex was just kind of there. I didn't want to get to know him first because he seemed kind of mean, which you kind of are, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Um, And then there was a big sleepover at Zach's house when you took over a whole couch that could have seated four people. To sleep on. It's a bad like, first impression. I'm tired. I'm just going to take the whole couch. All right. So, I don't know when you other uh, guys met. Well, I met him. Um, <laughs> when he was born. Uh, uh, when, when, he, when he was born, yeah. He was there since I met day one. Zach um, his freshman year in high school. In geometry. We were in geometry, and that was the best fucking class ever. You fell in love. Geometry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes, yeah, I did. fell in love. Yeah, <laughs> I thought Zach was like one of the coolest guys I've ever met, and I was a junior and he was a freshman. I was like, yep. Zach is so fucking cool. I fucking yep. love this guy. <laughs> but you know what sucked is that when I, when we're all hanging out in high school and all of the groups combined, most of you guys were in band. Yeah. I was not. I felt yep. so left out. It was like, <laughs> oh, oh don't, don't worry about it. Band class. We got to go to Thursday night rehearsals. No. For like, Six hours. Mike like, will be like, hey, you guys yeah. want to play Xbox? Sorry, we got rehearsal. Yeah. <laughs> Zach, you want to hang out this morning? I got to go to our, jazz band. Was it? Jazz band. Yeah. Yeah. So Zach was up at like 7 a.m. I was up at 6. 6 a.m. But you live close, so you can just walk to school. Yeah. It luckily. took like three minutes to walk mm-hmm. there. So. And as far as I knew, you guys were really good at band. <laughs> I mean, I <I'm, laughs> Dude, this guy, what? the best <laughs> trumpet player that I've ever heard in my life. Well, thank right? you, Alex. That's what I heard. <laughs> I'm being Wait, you totally, the trumpet too. totally sarcastic yeah. about that. I don't know what it was, but the way he played his oh, trumpet, 
was so wrong and it just sounded <laughs> so bad every time he played. Like he could be playing a totally different note from the other. It would still sound so bad. <laughs> like I don't know what you were like, do you know what were you just like playing wrong? Were your lips all fucked up or what happened? It might have been that. Um we the did it on trumpet purpose. I used was old as shit. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True, that true, could true. And then because at first I used the school one, and then I used, like, ours, mm-hmm. the one we had, but that was really old, and we didn't really take care of it, so I think that was probably it. I think so. And then, but, but, there's obviously this other layer of just not giving a damn. Yeah. And not practicing whatsoever. Yeah. Uh, what was it, though? Like, why did you not want to do it or pursue it? <laughs> it, or, it was or try. Not, it was no longer fun. Mm-hmm. Like, the fun was taken out of the equation. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, why am I here? I could see that. Mm-hmm. I mean, also, to be fair, all of our friends that hung out, none of us ever, like, practiced or anything. Yeah. So it's not like we were going to get no, like, way was, better. No, it didn't make any better. Well, I <laughs> practiced because I knew that I was not very talented at trumpet. Well, you were aware. So, and I was aware of that. Like, mm-hmm. there was clearly people that were better than me. So I had to practice. And in those times that I did practice, sometimes I would outshine the top guy for a brief second i would have because the top guy whether he practiced the night before or practiced daily all the Mm -hmm. time um there would be a couple times when i I would outshine him so i was like oh fuck yeah that feels great because at the end of my senior year i was at the very end but i was in the top tier band you know what i mean but that's Mm -hmm. the thing with band michael i i i are you strong-willed would you say so the fuck <laughs> because I, i'm gonna tell you this band, to connect the dots here band cl- uh-huh. band class is no walk in the park it seemed like boot camp yeah, all right you guys were no. going through shit go ahead go ahead go ahead <laughs> i have to interject because this has been on my mind for months for years okay because i've always <laughs> thought of this band is not this magical it's not military school yeah, <laughs> you can easily make it where it's fun mm-hmm. and you guys play fun songs and yeah. you have a good time and there's no hard feelings and you know relaxed. We had that when we were mm-hmm. younger, mm-hmm. but that was removed and they made it like it was military school. But I think and if a- you went, oh, if you did not comply, you were ostracized. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. all of you guys, you too, Zach, don't look away. <laughs> <laughs> I remember it was awful. All of you, basically, your guys' reasonings for staying in, but like, oh, I'm with my friends. It's like, yeah. We're like, oh, really? So if we're in jail and, oh, mm-hmm. me and him are together, I guess it's fun. Mm-hmm. No, it's not. Mm-hmm. It's still bad. Mm-hmm. It is not fun. Mm-hmm. And I was this mm-hmm. only smart one who was like, you know what? I don't kind of, I'm not having fun and I don't like getting yelled at. Mm-hmm. I'm out. Mm-hmm. Bye. And even just leaving was a struggle because mm-hmm. it was so much like a cult. Yeah. So don't go around saying, yeah. oh, are you <laughs> it was strong-willed? A blast. Like, no. <laughs> band camp is not – band is not supposed to be like that. And, and if it is, it needs to be expressed beforehand mm-hmm. because especially when you're, what, 15, mm-hmm. you kind of go into it thinking, oh, it's just band. Mm-hmm. Like, you just play instruments. Isn't that supposed to be fun? Yeah. Well, where we went to school – Fuck no, it was not supposed to be fun. Mm-hmm. But they did a piss poor job of explain, explaining that to the freshmen. Mm-hmm. And that's why <laughs> when we were there, it went through so many different waves of, yeah. oh, it's shit, oh, it's bad, or oh, it's good. But no one wants to say that because no one wants to point fingers. But I am <laughs> gladly will. Mm-hmm. But I'm the only one, unfortunately. I need to so, go off cam for like five seconds to close my door. Hang on. Go ahead, right. go ahead. Keep talking, keep talking. So what right. I was going to say is... I, now you try to defend it. Okay, yeah, so I'll, <laughs> I'll try my best to defend it. So when I think of band, yes, it's playing music, instruments, and and at the beginning, in fifth grade, fourth grade, you play the recorder, you sing in choir, you do that stuff. You kind of learn the basics of music and stuff. You know, small hymns, little tunes, and stuff like that. But when you get to, like, and, and I do agree with you on this part, um... They sometimes um, they don't really prepare you for what how stressful and meticulous playing music can be, especially in a group of uh, musicians. So like when I, we had a band teacher who was uh, strict, um, but he still I feel like he motivated you quite a bit. Mm-mm. And uh, well, that's your take. 
<laughs> Clearly. <laughs> but for me and other yeah. people that had him, he was very motivational, I thought, personally. So, uh, if you guys seen the movie Whiplash... It, it's basically Thank that. It's, that it's basically that, yeah. but not Thank as you. not as Mm-mm. not as intense as Whiplash. I think no. So it was listen. almost exactly like that. Okay, okay. Which for was you guys specifying for for yes for you yes no it, for everyone. not both of you no no no, no. just you two. Oh okay. So <laughs> don't this try group, to do I mean. the oh he likes this one better than ours so he's gonna shy away from me. Shut up! No, no, no. no. I don't no, want to I, hear. I, I, my thing is because he was a trumpet Try. player with you guys. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. He played trumpet. He yes. focused on you guys That's way more I, than anybody else. Yeah, yeah. So okay, so back to my point. Uh, the art of music is it's basically you have to be you have to be perfect <laughs> in order to play a good piece of music. So hence why you must be strong willed because if you're not playing that piece of music perfectly or the best that you possibly can, it's going to sound bad, and you don't want that to sound bad. You want music to be perfect, and even though you, you're not, nobody's perfect, you have to strive to be as perfect as you can. Now, does that mean he, the, 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 the professor or teacher's going to lash out? Yeah, maybe. A couple times. But, <laughs> but, but it's, it, all, it all falls on you if you're able to accept criticism and get better. Criticism. Yeah, you stupid. Oh yeah. <laughs> Criticism. <laughs> oh god. But okay. So, and my last Shut take. The fuck my up. last take on this is that you have to be a strong-willed person in order to get better to take criticism. So criticism is a fucking grown 40-year-old man yelling at 15, 16-year-olds. Because that's what fucking happened, man. I do. <laughs> I, I, and you're like, I, okay. I don't think oh, yeah. he, Did he yell at us? The, I, yes. What yeah. are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, he did. Yeah. I love. Uh, first of all, for the viewers who don't know, Alex is a bit. I don't know why. Alex loves to find the outcasts of society, and will latch on and try to push them up. Like, no, he's a good guy. He's a good guy. He may have killed people. But he's a good guy. I mean, uh, that's what he's doing that now with, with a murderer. <laughs> no, 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 I said like. Oh, Please yeah. pay attention. But anyways, so Alex is. You know, our band teacher was honestly pretty shitty. I mean, at the time, I don't. I mean, there's room for improvement, but. Who's to say? But anyways, at the time, god-awful. Like, probably a lot of criticism. But you, you're saying that criticism is okay. I agree. You should be. But the way the criticism was delivered to us was through yelling at Mm. us. Yeah. um, I agree. I agree with that. As a high school band teacher. I don't think yelling is the proper to lift. No, no, no. I, I agree with you 100%. 100%. But you were just saying that that was okay. So. No, I agree that, that he yelled. Yeah, I know. But you were saying that, yes, he may yell, but that's fine. No, that's not fine. He's a fucker for doing that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it hurt Andrew's So, yes, feelings. agree and say mm-hmm. yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Say yes. Well, <laughs> again, this all depends. There he goes again. This, this all depends if you are strong-willed or not. No. Clearly, no one. there are some people no. who did who couldn't take it anymore. No. So they dropped out. No, no, no. No fucking high schooler should go through that. No one. I don't care if you can take it. You shouldn't be yelled at for band. Do you, do you get that? Do you understand? Like, I, I'm saying, I'm not saying that some people can or cannot. Mm-hmm. I'm saying, even if they can, that shouldn't fucking happen. Okay, okay. What about like high school coaches and stuff like that? When That's they yell different. at their players and make them run, ostracize them in front of the the whole team and stuff like that. How is that any different from high well, school? First band? of all, it's not that different, but that is a tad bit different because there's actually like they're f- actually physically competing against someone else okay we're not yeah but you are still trying to get the best music out of what you're doing you're yes, still trying to push people but... <laughs> to achieve higher standards than uh, what they are already at right isn't but... that kind of at the same thing yes but i okay so in sports in particular football you yell at them because the game itself is you need to be at a certain what is it called attitude mm-hmm. you need to be like and they want you to get you at like an angry state mm-hmm. so you can actually you know hit people because the game includes hitting people mm-hmm. in band you don't hit people you blow through tubes 
<laughs> but it's not just blowing, it's playing music. But, eh, again, um, I know it's music, and, well, first of all, like I said before, this whole thing of, like, it needs to be great, it was not expressed at all when you come in. Mm. Like, the message to the young kids before high school is not like, this is going to be very serious, you're going to take it very seriously, Brenda. We're at a high level of competition. No, it's just, oh, yeah, you do this, but just in high school, and uh, we travel around and do field shows, and that's kind of it. But that's, and it's, like, it, it's presented laid back, like, oh, that sounds fun. All my friends are already in band. They'll come with. No, it's not fun at all. It, that is just a lie, just to get you in. A lie? Yeah. I would say it's still pretty fun. Ugh. Oh, no. Like I How said. How is it not fun? If you're in jail with your friends, is jail fun? No. Well, <laughs> well I mean, come on. Uh, okay, Michael, what do you take out of all of this? Would you have joined a band if you could have? And um, if you were in band, if you were, I don't know if you were, why did you quit? See, the problem is all I heard from you guys was the bad stuff. I didn't hear too much of the good stuff. Which, there wasn't so I that much. It was in playing low music quantities. Playing, creating. But is that yeah, create? The, is that the rewarding thing for you when you're playing it? Because you're talking about being if, with friends. If and stuff. you are in band, if you are interested in band, first mm-hmm. of all, you would have to have. Now I know they make you branch off, you know, um, way back um, into choir or band. But if you stick with it in high school, because I think that it's like three or four years before you get to high school. So you've had experience of what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And if you're at that point and you're like, yeah, I don't like playing this music. I just want to hang out with you. Then maybe you shouldn't have been in band in the first place. Maybe if you You have to be in band, if you talk, but no, but when you get to high school where Mm -hmm. where it really, really gets, you know, um, serious. So I think if you're at that point, you're just in it for your friends and not wanting to play music and not interested in music, then you probably shouldn't have been in band all the way up to that point. Mm-hmm. So I think at that point... Remember, you're part, trying to... Well, go on. Go on. At that point, you are you should have it figured out. Like, man, I like my friends, but I don't like playing trumpet. So what mm-hmm. do I do here? Do I quit or do I just stay in it? And then you get the full-on exposure to how serious and um meticulous playing music really is mm-hmm. so well i'm looking at it from you know my field of study i guess you could say because at first this whole thing started off as funny now it's really interesting because mm. i want to hear how at least as unbiased as you three can um because andrew you know keeps bringing up the yelling and stuff so it sounds like oh there's more there wasn't a whole lot of um like positive reinforcement like if you did something good, then he pointed it out and said, like, oh, hey, good job with, you know, playing this song or whatever. You did well. It seemed like he was more focused on punishing you for the times that you performed not up to snuff for what he wanted. So was it was he more, like, yelling at you for when you did things wrong or uplifting when you did, the th- did things right? So when... Here, um, here well, hold on, hold on. Can I go first? Cause, yeah, go ahead. I mean, go ahead. Zach's been quiet. Yeah. Go yeah ahead. Um... So he definitely did yell at you a lot more. If you were just doing your your job, he just wouldn't even mention you, which was usually seen as a good thing. Like, if he didn't yell at you, that was a good day. If he said that you did a really good job, that would happen maybe twice a year, if that. And then that that usually felt pretty good because you knew, like, that did hardly ever happen. So when you played really well, you're like, oh, wow, okay. So, like, I feel pretty good about that. Mm-hmm. Okay. But yeah, that, that's about it. Alex? Um, so, yeah. Um, like I said, I wasn't the most talented. Mm-hmm. So I'd have to work at it. Um, so when I did do well, I would get complimented. Like a slight compl- compliment. But if I would do bad, I'd get called out. And then I would be like, single me out and shit, and then I'd do my best. And then after a while, if I did good enough, he would stop, you know, singling me out. But once I did it, I felt okay about it and then you just move on after that Mm -hmm. but um and that's how i was treated so in the end it wasn't like terrible for me but like i could see why people wouldn't respond well to that in in that situation but if i want to break it down all the way to the bottom i don't think he should be teaching high school he needs to elevate himself more because Mm -hmm. he'd be fantastic 
teaching college or doing other things with the band. Like, yeah. because the way he approached it is like top notch professional. Like he really should have been college university, some big program. He would have been great at that. Fantastic. So taking all that and putting it into high school, I could see where a lot of people would complain about it. And so. stewing right now. Well, he's he's waiting for his turn. Yeah, go ahead. Well, <clears throat> uh, so I, so I wasn't very good. I've gotten like one or two compliments from the teacher personally, and then but I feel like a lot of it was mainly for like it was all group, like oh good job just to everyone in general, like not very specific. And but my point of view was what would I rather get two or three compliments a year and everything mm. else is bad no that's not that doesn't make up for it at all so why would i that like all of this went into my decision not doing it like i know at the time all of you guys just joked like oh he's just a lazy cunt no so much thought went into that decision and that i made it mm. like one he's a giant douchebag to the people in my little area, douchebags. And then the fact that it's being taken so seriously and it's not really fun. And it's like, dude, this is fucking lame. And then mm-hmm. and then being yelled at all the time. And then there's basically no recognition of doing good jobs except for the end, you know, after we competed, you know, the classic, oh, yeah, you did a good job. And like, that's it. It's like, this isn't worth it. Mm-hmm. This is a waste of time and I'd rather just not. And that's mm-hmm. why I quit. Mm-hmm. And that's why I, I always say, like, when that's... And then when you brought Whiplash, so... <clears throat> like everything in my life, everything is super unique and super strange and out of the ordinary that I can't express it to other people. And sometimes I don't even like to because it's so unique that no one will believe you. It's almost like fucking seeing a UFO. Like, ah, no, you didn't. It's that bad. <laughs> and when I... I've only watched Whiplash once. It's a great movie. I will probably never see it again because <laughs> it's so traumatizing. It's like, yeah, wow, it is. the person who wrote this either went through this or literally guessed, like, think, ah, this will never happen. I think yeah, the yeah, person... It does happen. I think he went through it. I'm pretty I sure he they did. did. He mm-hmm. did. And it. I know, that's the worst part. Everyone who sees it is like, it's not like that. It is like that. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Which is so fucking sad. Yeah. I well. there should be a slight disclaimer just because, like I said, they were trumpet players. So they their specific section, the trumpet players, they got picked on a lot, way oh, yeah. way more than All anybody the else. Time. Like I I played in a different section. I played mm. it uh, trombone, and I think I got yelled at four times, mm. uh, all four years. Mm. But he's so not- they they were hyper focused on these these guys. Um, I just wanted to say, again, I'm only speaking from stuff I've heard. Obviously, I'm not a professional, and I'm sure it's been a long time since we've been in high school, so obviously things are open to exaggeration or whatever. But from what I can tell, like, which I'm sure is also an exaggeration of you guys saying that he, you know, gave you guys compliments like two times a year. If he wanted you guys to perform better, more frequently, it should not have been that spaced out. Mm -hmm. And it should not have worked as, like, he just... If you're doing well, then he just doesn't call you out. Because mm. he should have uh, praised you, like, as often as he could for when you did well. Mm. And then, uh, like, over time, that starts to fade out. Like, he compliments you, like, more sparingly. Not yeah. so every time. Because then you yeah. get satiated on it. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, from what, I, from what I've heard of you guys saying both sides, he had it kind of flipped backwards. Like, there was a lot more punishment than there was praise Mm -hmm. and so it kind of i don't know that's why i feel like andrew had such a bad time because it was either you just got yelled at or you didn't Mm -hmm. it wasn't like hey good job on that song you did pretty well Mm -hmm. you should try out for second chair or whatever or first chair so that's just my there is one more thing i wanted to kind of throw out there just because i it's a bit more of a unique take because alex had graduated by this point and andrew had quit by this point but um i i think it was like our senior year we had a lot of um like we played with other bands like they brought in other high school bands and they brought in like college bands to play with us so we got to see like other perspectives of how like their directors were and how their 
other students were in those bands and their perspectives <coughs> on things. And I think one of the, I don't know if it was an unintended effect of like how much he yelled. It's that we were just way more disciplined than everybody else. Mm-hmm. So we used our time a lot more effectively because nobody wanted to goof off because everybody was scared of like being murdered. Like that was a legitimate fear. There was literally one point, I forgot what year it was. Um, he came running off of like the top floor of our stadium running onto our field like he was about to kill somebody and there was like me and one of our other friends we were just sitting in the back just like should we just run like he might actually (laughs) murder somebody like we might be a better idea just to run but because we were disciplined we had less rehearsals than other high school bands and we were still better than them Mm -hmm. because we were able to use our time a lot more effectively i'm not saying like it's a good thing like that's still why or like a good reason why he should yell i still don't think he should have done that i'm just saying i got to see that and then even in college i saw a bunch of students coming in like you could tell they were really really talented way more talented than i was but i was doing way better just because i was more disciplined i knew how to use my time effectively because i never even once took my instrument home Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I I was just able to play better because I had those lessons. So I I this shouldn't all be taken as a negative because I I think yeah. that's what is skewing too. I I definitely think there is a lot of positives to like doing music and stuff. And th- this is definitely a unique case. That I can pretty much guarantee our experiences in the minority. Most teachers are not like this. <laughs> yes, okay, they are. Yeah. they are not <clears throat> yelling all the time. They are mm-hmm. usually pretty laid back they're like cool people i know (coughs) many music teachers and they're usually pretty nice Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but i will add one more thing to this zach with all the yelling and then all the all the things that happened we started to win championships though so we were producing as a unit all that all all that uh, hard work all the the criticism and all that that all paid off in the end for me like i could understand why some people were would still be like, ah, I understand we won and everything, we and we're good, but I still got yelled at. Again, maybe you shouldn't have joined in the first place. I, I don't know. Maybe... I, I don't know if I would say it It was still worth it. Like, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm glad we were good, but, like, I mean, it definitely ruined it because, like, I had a lot of fun with my friends. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, I, we didn't get yelled at nearly as much as your section did just because mm-hmm. he didn't care about us. Yeah. <laughs> so we kind of just got left on our own, so we still uh-huh. had fun, but, like... Yeah. I think it could have been a much more enjoyable experience if yeah. we had a different teacher. We mm-hmm. might not have been as good, but like, it definitely would have been more fun. Andrew might not have quit. But who's to say you wouldn't have performed just as well if he used more praise than scolding? Because it, from what Zach was saying, it also sounds like you wanted to perform better only because to avoid yeah. being yelled rather than perform better yeah. because he would tell you, hey, good job. Mm-hmm. It was more to just a- avoid the negativity of, yep. wow, you guys suck today. Which so I, 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 I so it's like you guys are just trained and you mm-hmm. accepted the training. And yeah. then I was the only one that was like, no. Yeah. Almost like the Matrix. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm, I'm just taking it down to its core of what's happening. Not not saying who's good, who's bad, whatever. I'm just saying as a third party, this mm-hmm. is what I'm saying. Yeah. So I don't, I don't know, but I, I always that like, makes sense. thought that he – he wanted you to be in band for the rest of your life. Like, I think like, yeah, that's he what didn't he didn't want people to leave. Yeah. Yeah. He that really, was fucking he, terrifying. Like, again, that's like, why I'm why saying, that's fuck? why I'm saying he would be a lot better if he taught university or mm-hmm. someplace higher because in high school, these kids don't give a shit. They, yeah. They, like five I mean, other like, classes. There, to there, there's with. like, he was fighting there's a lot battle. of people that like, bro no. wanted to pursue music after high school. So it's like, yeah, I get it. Like, you want them to be good and pursue it, but that doesn't mean that they're actually wanting... Like, there was a couple, but not, like, there not was the like, majority. Like, two. Yeah, like, Out two. Of like In our people. class, I think there's one. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, that was very interesting. Yeah. I didn't realize there was so much of a black and white between, like, Andrew and Alex of, like... The memories of band, mm. but that was kind of cool to see. I'm sorry, Andrew. I'm sorry that you're scarred. I feel bad now because yeah. I was like, man, I wish I was in band. Now I'm you like, know what? Fuck, I'm glad I was. I got uh, it. Gotta... No, I gotta... as long as you weren't a trumpet, it wasn't that bad. Mm-hmm. I gotta ask you a question, Michael. 
What's because that? it is your episode, and I, I love like how you dive into uh, philosophy That's and uh, or whatever you psychology psychology, psychology. <laughs> psychology yeah. <laughs> So I was wa- I was listening to a podcast earlier this week, and what they were talking about is, man, I hate country music. I don't know why mm. I hate it, but I hate it, and I love to show my hate towards others. Like tell them, now that 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 music shit, I hate it. Mm-hmm. So and I was thinking like, hey, we could talk about something like that. Like, why do we love to hate things? Because I for one, love love hating on the CW shows. I love it. I don't know what it is, but I think it's just because there are some people that yeah, you've never enjoy seen them, them a lot. That's even weirder. I've seen one episode. But yeah, but I know, I know, I know. Almost a thousand I, episodes. I know, I know. <laughs> but I just want to know why do people love to hate things? Because I'm pretty sure that a lot of us do that. I know you love to hate certain things. Mm-hmm. Like you. Yeah. So <laughs> what? what is it? Like, are, Do you know anything about that? Why do people love to, to trash or bash or, or just hate things? Well, with any behavior... You want to see what the function of it is. So, like, hating on CW show, well, I'll use you, for example. Yeah, go ahead. Doing that just in your mind by yourself. Like, you see the show come on, you're like, oh, I hate this. Mm. I can't say that that would bring you some kind of satisfaction on its own mm-hmm. unless it, it does. I don't know. Does it? Like, if you just if you hate <laughs> on it, you don't talk to anybody. You're just talking yeah. to yourself like, man, this is a stupid show. Yeah. You get satisfaction yeah, from that? Yeah, I do. <laughs> okay. I don't so know then, why. <clears throat> okay, so then I, for you, that's more like automatic. It's just, mm-hmm. I don't know, it feels good to you for some reason. Mm-hmm. They hate it. Yeah. For others, I would say for the majority, it's reaction-based. Mm-hmm. I was saying like it, when me and Andrew were into those shows and you're saying like, man, these shows are stupid and we're like yelling you're just at you. just trying like, to rouse them up. Yeah. You like, yeah, yeah, you yeah. like yeah. that mm-hmm. that exchange of an argument of why it's bad why it isn't i think it's the same for country music why people say like man country music just sucks they're not saying it just to say it then then there would be no like reason for them to keep saying it over and over like there's nothing reinforcing it Mm. so if they're saying it to someone who loves it they want to start that argument and just they just want to see that person get angry back at them for Mm. saying like what I love country. Do you music. think that also like occurs because when people like me, oh, fuck, I've been known for this too. Like I love to push what I love onto other people. Does is that like a connection with all this, or is that totally baloney? Well, what's what's the reason why you like to push it? Do you like? I just think when they do like. It? I just think like when I like something, I am. You want more people above to like all, it. and I want more people to like it. But when I oh, do so hate something. Thing. Elitist? You're above all. Yeah, I don't. I guess so. Like when Jeez. I was when I loved the boys, and I still love the boys. Mm-hmm. I, I documented on this <laughs> podcast. I would literally <laughs> tell you guys <laughs> to watch the boys and stuff like that. Yeah. Now, Have you watched boys yet? The now, boys. I want to know. I like know. when you guys watched it, when you eventually watched it, did you hate it or did you did you want to hate it because I loved it? Be honest. I, I had an interest in it in the first place. That I was, thought was, it was bad. So funny the way you push it. You were pushing it onto us. Mm-hmm. I hated how I even told you before you watched it. I was like, yeah, I'm probably going to watch that. And then you watched like it in like a day or two. <laughs> yeah. And you went, you harassed me for like uh-huh. two weeks straight. Now, did that make Even you... though I st- the beginning of this was, yes, I plan on watching that. Mm. You wouldn't stop. Yeah. Like, why? That's what I hated. Like, I bro, I told you I would. Uh-huh. <laughs> but you but it did But it didn't make you hate the show, though. No, no. Okay. It just pissed me off that me saying, yes to your question didn't satisfy mm-hmm. like you still had to ask the question like 20 times mm-hmm. like bro i said yes please stop yeah mm-hmm. i was annoyed by how much you brought <laughs> okay. <it. laughs> okay okay so i almost actually i had no intention of watching it and then my brother okay. put it on for us yeah and then i i think i two weeks went by since i started and then finished and I was just debating whether or not to even tell you I even watched it, just because I was hoping you'd <laughs> never bring it up again. I, I was so, oh, I was so done with it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see, so in Zach's case, you egging him on over and over to watch it, that's very aversive to him. So hopefully, if he waits long enough and just doesn't watch it, you want him to watch it, it's just going to go away. Yeah. It's, you're just going to stop, because it's like, there's no point. Mm-hmm. But I think for you, I've known you for a long time, and... You love these like deep talks yeah. with our groups of friends about movies yeah. and shows, which can't happen until we've seen the show. Uh-huh. So you need it to happen like fast. Right. That's now. why you the want to watch that it you so finish, fast. Yeah, yeah, you need yeah. The, everybody else to be done. It's well. not just for the sake of us watching it. It's so that you can engage in those conversations with us. That's why you need it to happen so quickly. Mm-hmm. 
because you want to talk about it. Yeah. It's like bugging you. Yeah, I know. And like, I don't know why I'm like that. Like, I have no idea. And I don't know why I love to hate the CW shows. I just, I I love to hate them. It's the same reason people love ASMR. It's just automatic. It's an automatic sensation Mm -hmm. in them. Like, and I, obviously I respect that the CW has a shit ton of fans. That's why they're still making these shows. Like, I respect that. And I know that they are succeeding with that. I understand Mm -hmm. that. And I, I, I would say I respect most of the fans. Like, whatever you like, watch whatever you want. But I just love to hate it. I love to hate it, dude. I, I don't know why. Like, are you guys like that with anything? You're also kind of a psychopath. No, I'm not a psychopath. No, no. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't think I love to hate anything. No. I I try to enjoy anything I watch just because mm-hmm. I'm, I'm spending my time there. It's like, why would you want to go in hating something? Like, that? you're yeah. wasting your time. Like, why even bother them? Mm-hmm. How about you? Besides Uh, hating me, um, which is already... I don't enjoy hating you. I would prefer to like you. (laughs) (laughs) Probably only... Even with Star Wars, the new ones, I would much rather like them. I don't. It sucks. Because, okay, I can... But... Go ahead. I don't enjoy hating it. Mm. It's like, damn it. I'd rather like like them. I have a a counter-argument to that. A couple of previous star wars movies you would want them to be bad i would that was for the joke like i wanted to i wanted to see like disney and everyone involved just fail Mm because i i enjoy i'm not like as like a personal like yeah fuck you it's Mm -hmm. more of like a business thing i like to see you like when like i big ideas like that fail in the business world means a lot because a lot of fucking money goes into that and then it all, you know, so much money is spent on it, but it's funny because only like five fucking people make it. Mm-hmm. So it's like, wow. So these five fucks are the reason for all this. And then it's like, okay, so what do they do? And it's Walt fucking Disney, so you don't know if they're going to just fire them outright. So I like the inner dynamics of the business world like that. Mm-hmm. And I like seeing it fail because I like to, I want to know what they would do. Yeah. Because then, it, oh, because. Obviously, if it works, it's boring. Because it's like, okay, it's another good movie. It's another good movie. It's another good movie. Every, everyone there is successful, fine. But when it goes bad, that's where it's fun. Because then it's like, okay, is is are they going to get fired? Are they demoted? Are they promoted to just not fire them? What happens? It's kind of like, um, kind of like in sports, when like the the team that's supposed to win it all, oops, someone fucked and broke and broke their leg. Mm. Like, okay, now what happens? Who's gonna it's, that's why sometimes, um, not now, but back then, like five years ago, when the Patriots were just crushing everyone, mm-hmm. it was more fun to see them lose because, well, one, the, the whoever beats them, you know, they're champions, their team stays together, but now every time they lose, it's like, okay, what happens to the team? Mm-hmm. Like, are, they, are, are people retiring? Are they getting traded? What happens? Like, how... Now, obviously, it doesn't work, or like, obviously that team didn't work. So what changes did they make? That's more interesting. Mm-hmm. Like how do you how do you not lose? Mm-hmm. It's more fun for me. Okay. There there was something interesting that happened in the last week that I I think goes well with this topic is um, the basically the entirety of the story of the Last of Us two leaked. Oh yeah. Don't yeah, get yeah, started. Yeah. <laughs> I have not seen Andrew, it. Andrew Andrew texted me. I, maybe the day of to mm-hmm. say, oh, he was so happy <laughs> this happened. It is funny, but but, but 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 why were you so happy about that? I like it because the company that makes the games, Naughty Dog, is so proclaimed as this top tier developer thing company, and it's like, oh, worship them, everyone. And now, terrible things have happened to them. And it's like, damn, oh. <laughs> <laughs> who's to blame? Who's getting chopped? What happens? Yeah, that's who, what's who, fun. Who who is to blame? We can't in this talk about that right now. My situation. Here. No, we're not going to talk yeah. about the the, the material. No. But like, I mean, I I haven't actually looked at any of the leaks, so I straight up can't spoil anything. So the thing that Michael sent us, it was like a tweet from a news organization that said that the person that leaked it is not within Naughty Dog, the people that make See. the game, and or Sony, like so. I don't know what they're called, but you know their division that runs their games, and then. Later that day, because Michael sent this, sent this to us in the morning, like in the afternoon, it said, okay, Sony can no longer comment on it because it's an open investigation. So I was like, fuck. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> See, yeah, I think that's a fishy. lie. 
when I read it too because it was so vague. Like yeah, yeah. when I know, read like, it, I was like, Bruh. yeah, it was very Especially very. Especially when vague. they didn't say who it was, yeah. like what position they had, you could tell like this is just something they're throwing out there to make people think like, oh, these leaks aren't true, even though they specifically never said that. That like oh, and the the leaks that this person that had no association with Sony or Naughty Dog like obviously all this stuff is fake they didn't say that once which if that were true they would clearly state to put everybody mm. at ease but these leaks are true yeah and then so the leaks are straight up it's like it's a essay or bullet points of the story i can't remember because i don't where i got my information i don't know if it's actually the the actual leak mm-hmm. but and cutscenes. now when michael sent that thing and i read it i was like it's not from inside like it has to be Mm. who the yeah. fuck yeah so yeah. like who's yeah. spending their time making a fake story and making their own cutscenes? <laughs> <laughs> i mean okay so you're right about that like i was thinking like that article like there was no substance in that like the article was literally the headline yeah. that was it you did not have to go and read the, the article it was itself. a paragraph yeah it was like, <laughs> it was like a paragraph out on like some technicality where they did work used to work for them mm. now they don't and then so they're saying now, like they don't work for but us. But either way, somebody on that team had to that, send a file to somebody that's else. That's what makes it so much more fun, right? Yeah. Now you're getting into it. Because now it's like, okay, so it's either a lone wolf inside who's just <laughs> eating all the chickens or <laughs> they let in a wolf. <laughs> the the most credible, credible rumor I've heard is that Naughty Dog, apparently a lot of people were not happy with, like, the direction that the story was going. Like, it was pretty divisive, mm-hmm. but that wasn't enough. But <laughs> since it got delayed, in everybody's contract, and so, this is, like, a standard thing in gaming industry, is you get a bonus six months after the game releases. Mm-hmm. And so people generally plan stuff in their life around that. Like, oh, like, I'm going to get married around then because yeah, I'm going right, to get this right. huge flex of money. I'm going to buy a house. I'm going to send my kids to college. Uh, what, Andrew? What? Did, they, was, did they delay it because of the pandemic or because it wasn't done? I, I genuinely think it's because of the pandemic because... I, I think it's too much Money. of a coincidence that right after this leak, they're like, oh, well, let's just give it a release date and put it in July. Like, it was literally, like, what, two days yeah. later? It's, it was, it's like, way too much of a... Con- delayed, and, and then it was only, like, a month In after. that same rumor, they were saying um, that they were going to delay it. Like, their plan for the indefinite delay was to eventually release it during the holidays. So that's going to be a huge delay. That's, what, like, eight months? Mm-hmm. So then that meant that they weren't going to get their bonus till may in 2021 yeah and a lot of people were like since the outbreak started they were going to be like oh we're we're going to use this to like survive because we don't really have a paycheck anymore because everybody's Mm -hmm. furloughed and so it's in this rumor it's supposed to be like the main incentive of this guy leaking is all right i'm going to force naughty dog's hand with this all the stuff out they're going to have to release the game sooner rather than later, and everybody can get paid and survive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know, dude. Like, that article that you sent, Michael, like, I don't know if, how official that site is or, like, if they're credible. They but, said like, they talked to someone. I know, but, like, even though even though they talk to somebody, there's, like, no information. I know. There's nothing there. So it's, like, I personally think that people are – should be more outraged at the, the the what the company's doing rather than what the leaks of the story are because i think that is why mainly why i think it got leaked in the first place maybe the story too but i think i, I don't know is the oh, whole you're saying that the the business side of like employees and employers yeah. is the reason why it's not because of the game or I, like they're just using it as a tactic to open conversation well i mean okay so because these developers coders artists whatever they have to know pretty much the entire story when they start right and and you should be you should be vetting people who will who want to work on this game for you right they should be there because they want to so i think they knew what the story was going to be and the direction it was going to take years ago when they started working on it right that's not necessarily true okay story can be changed pretty much up until the last year of development yeah and even then usually the story you have like a general idea but like a lot of the specific stuff isn't usually hashed out until maybe two years it it would be like 
in the film world, like reshooting or rewriting the whole thing, like just yeah. trying to make the deadline. And yeah, when they rewrote like Rogue that. One or whatever, right? The yeah, ending? like that. So, oh, okay, so that's two possible ways of how it could have gotten leaked then. And something else, that, um, this is also like, this isn't even a rumor. This is 100% like accurate is apparent Naughty Dog, they've been losing employees left and right like they have a really really high like rate of people leaving the company since the last of us 2 started development Mm -hmm. and whether that's the culture of like people not liking the story or if like the managerial side of everything is just toxic or i who knows what it is but they've had a really high rate of people leaving the studio since it started fuck Mm. (laughs) so what do you think about this michael your beloved, uh, I'm, co- I'm connecting beloved you back to Naughty Dog to band. <laughs> no, you guys to strive for excellence, which is you know what Naughty Dog is proclaimed for. But yeah. everyone hates working there. Mm-hmm. So, and that's that's actually kind of a funny thing is uh, apparently, uh, I guess people were also worried about crunch culture there because they pushed this idea of like everybody at Naughty Dog has to be like a perfectionist. And they're like, oh, well, like, it's not crunch culture if, like, it's supposed to, like, every single person, like, oh, like, personally, I want this thing I'm working on to be perfect. But it's like, but that's still crunch culture. Like, you're still having people staying way later than they should be. People still putting in, like, culture, but now they've just 18 hour it. days at the office just trying to get their work done. And I, I don't know. I don't think that's a very good practice. No, yeah. Well, did the same thing yeah. happen to Cyberpunk? Like, the whole thing was they were all having to crunch and shit. They were starting to. That's why they delayed for, how? Mm-hmm. what was it, like eight months? Yeah. April because they're just, September. they're trying their hardest to delay that. It wasn't because of the pandemic, obviously. That hadn't really even started. Yeah. yeah. So, like, their thing was to avoid the crunch. Because that usually doesn't happen until towards the end of the development. When you're like, oh, shoot, we only have, like, three months left to finish all this work that would normally take us like five months i would bet we're gonna see a bigger trend of of exposure of crunching and like Fuck mistreatment yeah. especially now yeah. with uh what was it covid so yeah that's gonna be interesting because and i oh. i think any game that doesn't get delayed there is some measure of crunch going on mm-hmm. because there's no way because when you're initially transitioning from the office work to at home you're inevitably going to get, like, at least a couple weeks where you're not working at, like, Mm -hmm. maximum efficiency that you would have been before. Yeah. Um, Do you believe that there's, like, a crunch culture, like, happening in every game, every studio, like, but we just don't know about it? Probably. Like, there has to be, right? I, I... I think it's probably more of a common practice than we think, Mm -hmm. but there are... I'm certain there are a lot of great studios out there that try their hardest. Like, I'm sure, uh, like, Cuphead Mm -hmm. um, Studio... um, Do you know what it is, Andrew? Studio M... MD something. I forgot. MDHR, I think. I'm sure they are fine. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, that game was announced, what, like, four years before it was finally released? Mm -hmm. So I'm sure that since they never had, like, a firm release date, they were kind of just working at their own pace. Mm. Like, not crunching, not going too hard at anything. because I mean, like, if you don't have a set release date, there is no point in crunching, because it's like, that's for, I need to meet this deadline. If you don't have that specific deadline, then there's no point in crunching. Mm. Fuck. So it's all about, like, the whole thing with the release date, then, because, like, if you don't have a release date, then you can take your time. The blow isn't so heavy. Yeah, it's not so heavy. You can let it marinate, you can, like, really craft it out, like, tink, tink that stuff you don't have to like (laughs) crunch down because obviously like uh, the studios at some point i'm pretty sure they get behind a couple times right they have to get behind so that that's when you induce the crunch because of the Mm -hmm. the 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 release date now i think what's happening now is games are so fucking meticulous and like incredible feats of art that are being that are being created and especially nowadays so i think what studios have to get away from is this whole like especially like you know a a triple a title or something like that where they want like a three or two year window of the next installment they have to extend that they have to but these that's not up to them the publisher right 
Yeah, that's up to the publisher. So the publisher, that's the people that pay them and yes. give them their money for yes. all that. Yes. Yes. So th- that means that they those publishers need to uh, wise up and get smart about this because they're gonna fucking kill the employees. <laughs> but they don't care. I know. That's the thing. They don't <laughs> give a damn. They don't know anything about making a game. That's 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 the truth, and that happens in other fields too. I mean, mm-hmm. they're beholden to the stockholder not the developers yeah and uh the crunch culture even then we're thinking like oh like let's just naughty dog like we're gonna put all the blame on them to me like if they had the crunch culture or mm-hmm. not and more than likely it had nothing to do with them it's probably sony they're like hey you need to meet this release date so we can get this out before the ps4 ends mm-hmm. and but nobody's gonna be like oh this is playstation's fault this is sony's fault they don't care and so it's not going to hurt their stockholders so nothing will change Hmm. all right well one last thing before we go i want to keep it short because we're going to have more to talk about it next week but assassin's creed valhalla got announced alex is over the moon yep about it yep i I I can tell dude um it's what they took a break last year right Mm -hmm. from an assassin's creed release yep yep and now it's set with vikings the people of zach's blood so i think he's very excited dude i as as soon as i saw that game i was like zach better play this fucking assassin's creed game i probably will he better play this so far it looks good but i want to see the gameplay Mm. exactly that's that's all i care about really even then you got to be cautious with ubisoft and their gameplay because they are god ubisoft is essentially has to wait i I understand where you two are coming from so sad being a shill, I guess. Um, <laughs> you I, it. I, have, I have loved Alex is Origins. pushing this game off of a cinematic. <laughs> no, 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 not even that. Though I, you guys have known, I've played the shit out of Origins, yeah. Odyssey. So I, I, I and this is I'm the Origins it. team, not the Odyssey team. Awesome. I could tell because the Odyssey team was the trailer for that one was not even close to Valhalla or Origins or or, or um, uh, sorry Odyssey. Odyssey, my bad, because mm-hmm. Odyssey's trailer was was had gameplay in it, and not a, not at all a cinematic. This one, full on cinematic. I mean, that was sick. Mm-hmm. That was yeah. fucking awesome, dude. So I'm highly highly uh, anticipating this. Uh, I was telling game. Andrew that I hope in this one, which I I think they're gonna do it anyway. I hope we don't get like superpower <laughs> shit again, like in the combat. I don't like it that much. Like, I really don't. Superpower no. stuff? What yeah. superpowers did they have before? Okay, so like in, in this, in Odyssey, okay, they really pushed, they had a very nice blend of Greek history and uh-huh. mythology. So a lot of the mythology stuff is where the powers and all Examples. that stuff comes from. Example, uh, you, you get like um, the Blades of Chaos or something like that. And, and they tie okay. it into like this like made up so you don't have a superpower, like but you can find like superpower things. Like these items are like mystical. It's, it's like a, it's like items a, of the gods. It's a it's a like it's a, like a skill tree. Like that all unlocks, and then you have the option to uh, play with the, the the fucking powers or not. But you could like you could do okay. An example: there was Thank an you. assassination where you could <laughs> throw your blade thing at someone who's far away and boom you're like teleported right next yeah. to them okay yeah, again so that's a super but, but you have a choice <laughs> exactly. you have a choice to do that or not you don't have oh, to and uh didn't origins they had something where you the can arrow. control the arrow could, yeah yeah, yeah. Yes. I, I didn't i did not do that either exactly i okay. was very grounded so in my my playthrough was super grounded so but again you have a choice if you want to do that or not like it's fun to do it it is a game um so yeah but like if you're like playing on the like a hardest difficulty if there is that i don't even know but you you'd have to use that stuff i would say give me the powers in like new game plus give me like a, okay. at least a so first... like something where you can throw uh reality out the window it's like i just yeah. want to have fun now yeah so in the, in okay. the base game you would like it more realistic more yeah grounded like keep me and... keep me tethered. it's like when you play like let's say like a gta game and you beat the story but then like after you beat it you can like all right now i'm gonna start using all all the cheats like i'm gonna (laughs) have a flying cars now and super punches and stuff like Mm -hmm. that but i i think i i I dug that in origins and odyssey i really did i I thought like spoiler i guess um in odyssey you could fight like 
creatures of Greek, <gasps> of Greek mythology, like uh, you know, like a sphinx, or Minotaur. other minotaurs, uh, Medusa, even. So I, I think that is fine. It's fun. I think it's pretty cool. You so I think you tend to play games with like a a power fantasy, also. Like you like to be the the. How do I even say it? Alpha like male? The, sup- the superhuman, yeah. Yeah. The super like, You person. love those kinds of games. I love that's, them. I'm saying that's you why you like it. Well, don't play Crackdown. Like <laughs> I, yeah, I, I love it's those the power games. power fantasy. I, like, because, like, well, the reason why is because, spoiler, again, like, the the <laughs> whole like the whole plot point of the goddamn game in Odyssey is you are the son of Leonidas. So you are, like, <gasps> you are the one guy, the I hero, right? I didn't either. <laughs> so, like, if I was Thanks to so. play it like an ordinary Joe Schmo, I think you're not playing the game to its heights as, as what it's able to be played at. And, like, there's even a bigger spoiler later that makes you even... Well, have, don't say it. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going <laughs> to okay. say it. But it, I'm not going to say it. But it makes you even more powerful than you w- thought you were. So it's like, <laughs> like okay. I, okay, do I want to play like a fucking... Uh, foot soldier? Nah, I'm gonna. I want to play as like a fucking Greek god. You don't want to play a foot soldier? No. What? That's surprising. Mm. Play as a foot soldier? No. Yeah. No. That's like your whole thing. How is that my thing? Uh, no, but this is his like military fantasy mixing with his villainous side. Where Damn. like, no, I want to be the the mastermind. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, but that's that's what I think. That's what I'll say about that. And mixing, I I, I do ag- I agree with the point that some people make that. Assassin's Creed used to be realistic, and now it's getting all mythical and stuff like that. Well, that, come on. I mean, that's the setting that they're going for. That's what they want to do. You can either mm-hmm. accept it or not. It's up to you. They don't accept it. That's fine. <laughs> you yeah, can, that's the point of them <laughs> getting mad. You, the, you, the very obvious you, you absolutely don't have to accept it. Then don't play the game. Ooh. I want to be able to play it, but yeah. like, like, give me options of how to play you it. have tons of options i think just going off of the cinematic trailer for valhalla the newest one um i don't think they're shying away from that mystical yeah. fantasy mm-hmm. thing because odin is in the trailer <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah odin is in it and i was like yes this is like sort of like odyssey but like norse but i know nothing norse? about I, norse <laughs> oh I know nothing about Norse mythology, so this is going to be brand new I think new Norse mythology is cooler, to be honest. Yeah. You think so? I, I, mean, I might I, be biased, but it might be the best. Really? <laughs> yeah. I, I'd, I'd have to check it out because I know nothing about it. So, is he, Alex, it goes Thor, ties back Odin, into Loki, last week. Uh, watch watch, the watch Vikings. I know. I, I, I was that, about... I was that about, trailer... The yeah. God of War it took so many inspirations the from the really? show Vikings. I saw some inspiration from... Braveheart. I don't know if you guys have seen Braveheart, but like I, yeah. I saw a lot of inspiration from Braveheart, stuff like that, which I was like, this is pretty sick. I ain't gonna lie. Dude, huh. this game might be super gory. Like, decapitation gory. Decapitated? All that stuff is in it. Who I cares? think. Kids play whatever now. No, no, no. I'm, I'm saying that's pretty, that's saying pretty that tight. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. He wants to see people's heads Because in, in Assassin's Creed Odyssey and Origins, like, they were violent, but like, they weren't that violent. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, I, I'm playing The Witcher again, and that's violent. <laughs> mm. All right. Well, I guess we'll have to see how it looks next week. I think yeah. we should end it there. How about you guys? Yes. yes. Yeah, I'm good. All right. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. As always, you can find us on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, uh, Spotify, Podbean.com, and that is it. YouTube, I too. I said YouTube. I started off. Oh, YouTube. yeah, but YouTube again. YouTube yeah. again. <laughs> And maybe Double Zoom. YouTube. Maybe they have like secret files you can watch. I'm sure they that. do. We don't know. Sure right. they do. Yeah. Well, we'll see you guys next week. Thank you. Peace.